Hey guys, I'm Hoka Dilioket, and uh, in case you didn't know, I was a colonel in the cadet program in Connecticut Wing, and I thought it would be interesting to go through all the stuff I've kept from my cadet days, which is a lot. I kept nearly everything that was significant from paperwork on up, and I thought it would be interesting to go through it and show you what's changed since 2010, which is when I joined, and also show you some of the behind the scenes of the uh, activities that I've gone to and staffed because I've done nearly everything in the cadet program. All right, getting right into this, I'm going to start with the most interesting thing, or probably the thing I assume most people want to see, the, what are these? I don't know, you know, the, the ID cards. These are all the ID cards I've had since 2010, starting with this one. This is the first, I'm gonna put this aside. there. So this is the, ID card for 2010. Um, you'll notice that if I get this thing. I'm looking at a monitor, so this is weird. So the first thing is interesting is look at this. Look how thick it is compared to today's cards. This isn't even actually today's card. I think they got thinner. So you see that? These things were built. Uh, well, I'm going to say like tanks, but not quite because. Honestly, they're, they actually wear pretty easily. If you look at this, I hope I don't have to blur any of this. I don't actually know what's on this card. So I'm gonna hold this up here. Okay. Um, just positioning that. All right, so this is the card. You've got a lot of like scratches and stuff, and I've seen cards that look a heck of a lot worse than this. Yeah, okay, here you go. You see the back there? How do you like that? Things pretty messed up. Uh, I'm glad I didn't have to do this and use this for long. So moving on to what was this, 2011. You see, they changed the thickness, so it got a lot thinner, and it became kind of just like this plastic flake, and things really didn't change much after that, till about. This, and I'm actually going to zoom in here, uh, change my aperture, hold on, eh, okay, until we get to this, and actually, nope, that didn't change, here we go, here we've got my beautiful face, I started getting a picture on these things, and this still is a cadet, but again, I mean, this is the back of these things, it's not really anything particularly interesting. And then here's the, not the my, not my current one, but my current, like the most modern, current senior member one I have. Um, honestly, they all look the same after this. And now I'm gonna have to completely re reorganize these. So I've got a whole bunch of stuff in a pile here and I'm just kind of pulling it out to look at it. Nope, oh, go away, I don't want you. But look at this, this is interesting, I like this. This is, my, this is the most interesting thing to me. So, um, this is actually a flag that, oh shoot, we're already halfway through. Well, this is gonna be a long video. Okay, whatever. So this is a flag that um, they use at Blue Beret. All right, if you haven't heard of National Blue Beret, you can look it up, ask someone. But this is part of the fence that they use on the, um, eh, I forget what it's called, but the path around the runway where the planes go to get to where they're going to park. This actually came off and I took it as a uh, souvenir because nobody else wanted it. These things all probably went in the trash afterwards. Uh, but this is just kind of neat. I like that. Oh, we're going over here. So, um, one thing, actually I don't think I made this one. Yeah, I didn't make this one. But one thing that you can do, it's actually really cool and really handy, you can make these little books for the manuals and stuff that you have to know. And this is of the drill manual. It's the whole 36 dash, who knows what it is, 03. Um, and I used this as a reference. I actually got this one from a friend and didn't make this one, but I used this as a reference for the drill manual. It's nice, you can just kind of put it in your pocket. And I mean, other than that, there's not really much to show with this. You basically just get these pages uh, quarter the size of a regular printer 
piece of paper and then you um, duct it, tape it together. This is a little more interesting. I like this one. So this, believe it or not, is the encampment training manual. And to this day, I don't know what the point of this was because I don't think anyone actually followed it. But this used to be the training manual that Connecticut Wing used before um, you're going to get a little bit of northeastern region wing history here, but basically um, New York Wing started helping us out with our encampment, I think in 2013. And this was the manual that we used before uh, that whole switch up. So this was an actual Connecticut Wing document. They basically just pulled this thing up to have some sort of standard. It's nothing particularly, these are all just regulations. What does the senior member do during encampment? That's cool. He's another one of these little books. I like these things. There's another flag. So how about this? Challenge coins. I don't even know where all these came from, honestly. Uh, apparently I got a lot of them. What's this? Okay, this is Blueberry. Blueberry is cool. I like blue. I think Blueberry might be my favorite coin. Because if you look at it, it's... Laminate is not the word, but it's got a coating over it. Get the light there. There we go. You can kind of see this coating. It's nice because if you're actually carrying it around, it protects it. Nwitmin. This is a challenge coin um, from uh, offices at... Uh, and actually, I don't really know what unit this is from. Which one is this? I've got two of these, actually. Get that into this. There, see that? That's cool. This is, um, got this from somebody who works at Camp Niantic. Uh, but I also got one similar to it, or actually I think they're the same ones from somewhere else. So I don't know really do, what the deal is with that. Here's a generic Civil Air Patrol coin. It's pretty cool, but it's not particularly detailed. I'm going to take these encampment coins and just get them out of the way right now. Hold on. What's this? Oh, that was funny. Hold on. And here's another Blue Beret coin, which I went to Blue Beret twice, so I have two of them. It's RCLS. Uh, what, what's... Apparently I got this from the National Commander. Which I think I know where that happened. Uh, I think that happened at a conference when I got my spats. Speaking of which, here's a spats coin. It looks kind of beat up, but that's just the plastic casing over it. Eh, this is so weird. I'm looking at a monitor so I can see if it's focused or not, but I have to figure out where to put it then. Also, you like my watch? I like my watch. You see that? That's a nice watch. I'm timing myself. Okay, so this is my spats uh, coin thing. <laughs> I mean, I really don't know what to say about it. I like this one because it's all one color. It's kind of nice. I don't know if I can even open this. Yeah, I'm not going to try to do that. That's what spats look like, apparently. Um, but you get this. I think you. I think everybody gets these when they get their spats. I don't know what this... I can't stand my camera. Actually, that's not true, but I can't stand the fact that I'm trying to use a DSLR for video. So, my camera cut out, and um, I don't know where I left off. <laughs> so we're going to have to start this up from where I think I left off, and hopefully I didn't miss anything. So I forget what I was saying about this, but this eagle is cool, and I like it, and it's neat. I got this from the Northeastern Region Commander back in who knows when. Wait, didn't I go through this? Uh, I forget if I covered this one, but this is the RCLS coin. I really did not enjoy my RCLS because they were trying to make what was supposed to be a course to teach you how to... Uh, lead. They were trying to make it an encampment. They really didn't know what they were doing. If you ever come across an officer who thinks that uh, yelling at people is a motivational tactic, uh, run from them like they are carrying the plague. What is this? Go away. So, actually, there are two of these things here. Hold on. Um, there they are. Yeah, so these are coins from the Connecticut Wind Conferences. 
back when conferences used to be like dress up affairs. I don't know what they are, but I don't think they're that anymore. Uh, and these are nondescript. What is this? Oh, I forget if I already covered this story, but I got this from a Massachusetts guy during the Connecticut Wing encampment. We had this exchange program with the Massachusetts Wing encampment where uh, people from each of our encampments went and toured the other one for the day. At the end of the day, he gave me this, this guy, I don't know what his position was, but he gave me this coin. And um, I thought, I mean, I thought that was really nice of him. I should have given him one, but it was kind of funny because I was just trying to keep the encampment together. And like out of nowhere, this guy comes up and he says something like, sir, it's good senior or whatever. And you could tell he was really nervous. I think he was shaking. But it was weird because I didn't even realize what was happening until it had already happened. And at that point, it was like, oh, thank you. You know, it was good seeing you too. Have a nice day and have a nice life because I'm never going to see you again. Um, but it felt kind of bad because I should have given him the coin. I didn't think about that. Here's one of these. But thank you to that guy. You're, you're great. So these are the encampment coins. This is interesting. I like this. Uh, this is 2014 and 2013. 2013 is the one that says 2013 on it. 2014 is the one where they decided you don't need that, and instead here's a nice plane. Um, I wish they still put the date on it because I don't. I only know this is 2014 because I only have two of these. But, you know they're cool. Um, and I just got these for being the commander and the deputy commander because. That job's hard enough that if you don't get a coin in that position, it means that you're doing a bad job. Like, base level, you should be performing. Um, what else did I siphon through here? And this is another thing. So, uh, I know for a fact that you guys don't call them this anymore, but this is called an SOP, or Standard Operating Procedure. And I think you call these things OIs now, which is the wrong term for it. You call them OIs now because, let me tell you why you call these things OIs. It's because in 2014, when I was the cadet commander, I made an, I, I stole, I didn't steal anything, but like I uh, used the structure from an ROTC continuity system, and that used a document called OIs, and somewhere along the way after that, someone decided, hey, I like the word OI, it's not a word, I like the acronym OI. Let's use that for this. And they started calling them OIs now. So I don't appreciate that person because that is the wrong term. And SOP sounds better. And thank you very much for wrecking my system. I'm not bitter. <laughs> but basically, this is just a little book that tells you everything you need to know to be a good cadet. And I'm really proud of this because I made this one. And I don't think I have the file for it anymore, which I'm kind of disappointed about. But I have this, which is nice. This is the best SOP in the world, and nobody will ever convince me otherwise. Unless they showed me a better one, and I'm going to purposefully not look at them so that I can continue to uphold my version of reality. But this is for uh, my squadron, the 103rd Composite Squadron in Connecticut. Yeah, it's nice. Yep. Um. Oop, I whacked a I whacked a microphone. Okay, how about this? This is cool. So this is my laptop that I used throughout the entirety of Civil Air Patrol, my Civil Air Patrol cadet experience. I think pretty much when I stopped doing cadet stuff, this died. And uh, I mean, it really died. Like, it died that way. Look at this. This thing doesn't even hold up anymore. It has a disk drive. <laughs> it's just <laughs> hilarious. A DVD drive, nonetheless. But here we've got Blue Beret and then the Civil Air Patrol and NASA because nerds are cool. And this is my secret message to the world. You see this? Yeah. After about three years of Civil Air Patrol and actually dealing with the day-to-day -day deal, the tolerance of having to put up with people and staffing things, uh, that was the that was not the attitude I adopted quite, but it felt good to put a sticker like that. I don't know why I'm talking about that sticker. Whatever. Uh, I became a bitter old cadet that was having 
fun being bitter, so I didn't stop myself. Anyway, look at this. So this key came off. It's a Dell. I don't know why I'm showing you this. Nobody wants to see the laptop. Probably, but you're going to see it anyway. This is my channel. I do what I want. Uh, so this is... Yeah. What is this? I don't even know what this is. Oh, this, so this is your book from... Um, 2014 encampment, which is the encampment I was a cadet commander during. These things are nice. Basically, it's just a bunch of pictures of all the different staff positions, all the people there, and a promotional for the next year. Uh, all these things honestly i never actually really take full of, oh look at those guys those are long look at that look how long they are i think i know for a fact that that bugged the public affairs staff couldn't figure that out whatever so i never really took advantage of these most a lot of people have these things marked to pieces i think i just heard my phone um whacking things left and right. Got stuff spilling out all over the place here. So this is interesting too. This is the, so the way encampment does, you know the challenge coins I just showed you, the way encampment, the way Connecticut does these challenge coin things is they have these little recommendation papers that you can fill out and put in a box during the day and they'll gather them up afterwards and uh, I think they have their own opinions about whether or not somebody gets these, but if there's a lot of... Oh, cameras. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, if there are a lot of recommendation sheets, then uh, they'll give someone a coin if you do good. If you're a good boy. If you're a good little cadet. This is... Yeah, see what I'm talking about here? Operating instruction. That's wrong. It's bad. Right, look how white my hands are. They're actually red. Anyway... This is 2014? Yeah. This is a big book. This is just more information that you need to know. Seven basic responses. Huh. Okay. So here's something fun. This is a pass and review script that nobody reads because it's huge. This is the absolute 100% correct Air Force way of doing things that we cannot physically do it in Camden because you need at least two weeks to practice this and usually we have like a couple hours. Um, I think I got this from somebody who was an ROTC when I was a cadet commander. This is the... I'm gonna have to look at all these things and make sure there's nothing on them that I need to blur out. Where are you? Here you are. So this is the what is this? This is the outline for the speech I had to give as the cadet commander in 2014 during the graduation. Oh, excuse me. And uh, I was pretty happy with that speech. I like that speech. Go away. This is... Nah, this is the marked up version of the pass and review. I, sp I spent way too much time focusing on the pass and review during encampment. I think it was because I only realized too late that it was going to be impossible to do it. Uh, if there are any new cadet commander or whatever's out there looking at your encampment, give up on the pass and review now. Make something that looks nice. Don't try to do the whole thing and don't waste time on it because that's not what the encampment's about. <laughs> that was my lesson <laughs> from being a cadet commander. Uh, I don't even know what time it is. Oh, did I show this? I think I showed this before my camera cut out last time. So this is a schedule from Blue Beret. How do you like this? These are all, this is what everybody's doing at any one time. You've got your times coming down this end, and then this is, you know, what, and then you've got your flights coming along this top end, and then this is what each flight does throughout the day. That was Juliet. That was us. 
And this schedule, so, I mean, this is why people who make schedules have to get a lot of, sure, should <laughs> get a lot of respect, because you know, I focus and then I move it out of the focus area, because that makes sense. Anyway, they have to make these things, and then constantly throughout the day, they're usually getting revised. So it's a lot of stress and it's a lot of hassle, and I don't even know how you make one of these. And I think that's it. I got one more thing here, but I want to show you this because it's boring. I don't like this. Um, so that was that was fun. I'm only gonna do one take of this because that took forever. And uh, that was it. Thanks, guys. All right, that's it for now. But I've got a ton more where that came from. So let me know if you want to see another video. I'm probably gonna make it anyway, to be honest, because this is the kind of thing that I've been wanting to make for a while. Otherwise. You can uh, keep an eye out for the encampment promo that I make every year, which will be coming out in the spring sometime. I forget when exactly, but you can look at the upload dates for the other encampment promos that I've made. I just don't remember what it is right now. And also, you know, of course, I keep putting out other little videos on this channel. And other than that, don't forget to like and subscribe if that's something you're going to do. And I'll see you later.